Hey guys, it's Drac on Everyday Alchemy, and I'm going to be showing you how to make chainmail today. Now, chainmail is a hobby that I've recently gotten into. This is a, a weave of sort of my own invention that I wear as a bracelet right now. But I'm going to show you the most basic of chainmail weaves, at least in my opinion. It's called the European 4-in-1, or Euro 4-in-1, or 4-in-1 for short. It's what's used to make a lot of different types of armor, and occasionally for jewelry purposes, but it's remarkably simple. I'm going to be using these rings right here. You can see that they're somewhat thick. They're 3 eighths of an inch inner diameter aluminum rings made out of 16 gauge aluminum wire. And that's a good wire to start with because it was easy to cut the rings, it was easy to spin the rings on a mandrel. And it's a very lightweight metal, so it's really easy to work with, especially when you're getting started. Now, this is the base for any 4-in-1. It's, I'm trying to flay it out here. It's pretty self-explanatory. It is four rings on one ring. Now, to make a cell like this, I believe this is called a cell of 4-in-1. I'm going to show you how to do that. These are freshly cut rings. You can tell that they're freshly cut rings because they're not quite open and they're not quite closed. They're fresh off the mandrel. Now to close these rings, I like to put them between my pliers and almost crush them. And then I come back and pinch them just a tad to get them into a solid ring. Now I need four closed rings like that to show you how to link four-in-one cells because I'm going to make a four-in-one cell right now. Alright, so there are my four closed rings. Now this is an open ring. It's just a ring that's been opened up more from its, its freshly cut form. I can show you how to open a ring because I'll need one more open ring in a minute. I put both ends of my pliers on the ring and then I just twist it to open it up. That's just right. Alright, I'll start by making a four-in-one cell. I like to hold the open ring like so, and then I thread the closed rings onto it. And then I close it. And now I have two cells of four in one. Now to link them together to make them longer and make a, a chain, you do exactly what four in one would imply and you link the two top rings and the two bottom rings one to the other. Now first I like to line them up, that's what I'm doing right now. You can see that they're both pointing upwards. Now I'm going to grab this, this one here, come in with my open ring and thread it through the back of the two top rings. And then I hold it like that. You can see how I'm holding it with the open part facing forward and then I come in and grab the other one and take its two back rings and thread them through. Then while holding it I come in with my angled pliers and close the ring around those two back rings. Now you can see there that that is two lengths of four and one closed together and it's a remarkably stable weave, but that's what it looks like up close. My camera's having trouble focusing. Anyway, if you continue to do that, you'll get what is a longer segment of chain mail like this. And I've actually made this in advance to show on the video. This is roughly, I think, eight or nine inches long and I've made two of them. Now to make your armor or whatever it is you want to make into a sheet and continue it width wise, obviously to make it longer you just continue to add on to each cell. This is the fastest way I've discovered to make four in one. Now you can do it ring by ring but I like to take an open ring, meet at the bottom of my male lengths and again, it's all four in one. So you come in and loop this through two and then back through two. I'm not going to do that on camera because it would take forever, but the basic premise is that you will zip up 
these two lengths with a connector in the middle. Now again I've come in to save time and I can show you what that looks like. This is three lengths exactly the way that I just showed you put together by zipping them up in the manner I just described and I've created what is a very stable, very flexible piece of sheet mail and this could be used for anything from a shirt to a coif to jewelry if I wanted to make another bracer similar to the one that I'm wearing and what's interesting is the properties of this, the aluminum is very lightweight and it's condensable because of the way that the rings are spaced with their aspect ratios it's still flexible and it's easily compressed and it's very stable. I like this chainmail stuff a lot and I'm still looking for other applications for it other than jewelry and armor and I think it's interesting it's got interesting physical properties but that is how you make a sheet of European 4-in-1 chainmail and as always thanks for watching